Yo, 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 welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Big Daddy Momo, and we got another Fabio video today. You guys, I'm loving this. <laughs> I've never met a personality quite as interesting as Fabio, thankfully. I'm not, I'm not saying I actually want to, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so those of you who don't know, um, Joshua Fabia is Diego Sanchez's um, coach, and there has been a little bit of drama going on. I just did a video about Fabio's narcissism and the signs of manipulation that he probably has been manipulating Diego for quite some time now. So be sure to go check that out. I'll link that at the end of the video as well as down below. So this is a leaked conversation between Joshua Fabia, also known as Fabio, and Hunter Campbell. All right, let's just get it. Enjoy. On Friday, April 9th, Sean Shelby, UFC matchmaker, and Hunter Campbell, UFC lawyer, okay, cool, called Joshua Fabio's phone. This is the conversation. UFC lawyer called Joshua Fabio's phone. This is the conversation. The video has since been deleted from Diego Sanchez's Instagram account. Hey, Sean. Hey, Josh. Hey, uh, I've got... Uh... Our chief business officer and our head lawyer here, one and the same. Okay. And uh, we need to chat with you for a minute. Hey, pal. Okay. Um, so I, I just got a text from someone in my medical department uh, basically saying that you called them for a, quote, formal request for all of Diego's pre-fight medical records paper copy unnecessary post fight records every physician that he has ever been evaluated by by the way we have no control over any of that that's all commissioned done so you'd have to make those requests formally with the commission but more importantly with the direct quote that you guys it's like a such a strange request he wants everything all in paper sounds like he's trying to you know gather a case for a lawsuit wouldn't you say what i received was uh, you stated that the, quote, long-term effects of Diego being an MMA fighter were your basis for requesting it. Yeah. So I, I went through this with Mark Hunt, and here's the reality. If you're concerned or he's concerned that he's having negative effects, then we're not going to fight him, and I'm going to pull the fight right now, and we're going to call it a day, oh. and we'll release oh, him, and he yeah. can go do something else with his life because I'm not putting anybody in that cage that doesn't feel 100% or thinks they're suffering from any medical issues. Dude, so this was the conversation that basically ended the career. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Yo, the UFC knows what's up. They cut the cords quick. They're like, no, nah, we're not. We're not dealing with this. Bye bye. Yo, nice. Nice. What? Now, this doesn't mean that you know, Fabio and Diego can't attempt to still sue them. You know, they can still request those. Um, those medical documents, I guess, or records, excuse me. But the fact that they were like, goodbye, it's just that was such a, you know, badass move from the UFC. Nice. Well, it has more to do with how is his physical body and all the treatments that he's had over 17 years of injuries in his hands, his face, and all over his body that I'm referring to that if he needs medical attention after his career, how is he supposed to move on without medical records as that's what I'm concerned about. That's all it is, is that if he has to go see another doctor about his hip or his back or any of these things, how, how is that doctor? Why would we have to pay for new imaging, new everything when it should be on file? Well, I don't understand what the problem. Hold on. Hold on. There's so many. There's so many things that are wrong with the sense he just said. So it's interesting because the lawyer said that he was quoted as saying that he wants to, he wants, you know, Fabio wants all his medical records because he's concerned about the status of his like physical being, right? So then it's interesting that Fabio didn't deny that he said that, right? He didn't deny it. So, but what he did say is that, oh, well, if he has to go see other doctors, I don't want to have to pay for more imaging. You tell me he don't got insurance. Is that what you're telling me? A UFC fighter that's been fighting for 17 years doesn't have health insurance, doesn't have money that can cover that. Okay, let's just pretend like he that's let's just pretend, right? Why would you want 
imaging from 12 years ago. You should want to do new imaging. You should always want to do new imaging, run new tests as updated as possible, be able to assess if there's actually something going on. Because if you're a fighter, a lot of things can change. You put your body through so much. So that doesn't make any sense, you guys. Problem is. He's having a new issue related to something. He's going to have to get new imaging anyway. Right, exactly. So what exactly. wouldn't the old imaging matter to understand how to treat him? I mean, I, I don't understand. No. Why wouldn't not really. him? Why wouldn't an athlete need his medical images saying, of his is, injuries that he's acquired <laughs> over years? Like, I don't understand all, what the real problem is. Asking it, about there's that. Nothing, there's nothing. It doesn't go through us. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I didn't call, by the way, to formally ask for that. We called to understand about these medical requests being given at four weeks or less and a mandate on the speed of it while I'm in travel, while we're in the middle of a fight camp. And if if they are up on the five year and the three year requirements, why weren't we able to go do these, I don't know, 10 weeks ago, 12 weeks ago when we scheduled the fight. So you know, this, that's all I'm saying is I was trying to understand that. Now I had the medical on the phone and I said, hey, while you're here, this dude doesn't have a brain, you guys. It's official. First human born without a brain. Can we now ask for these uh, things so that Diego knows all his injuries from over his career? And that's it. That's all it is. Like, I don't yeah. know. That's all. Just to be. Yeah. As here's, what, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm send an email to you guys. I'm going to express my concerns. Okay. I need a confirmation in writing that. He's physically able to compete. He's not suffered any ill effects of being an MMA fighter. He doesn't feel like he has any brain issues or cognitive issues. I got to go through the whole battery that I go through with everybody that sort of makes a claim that you, at least they're telling me that you made in this situation. And if he's not comfortable doing that, then we pull the fight and we move on. It's very simple. Yeah, I we're already, I already called Taylor today yeah. and we're already having her schedule all of the medicals to be done starting on the 12th when we return to Albuquerque, sir. So we're like trying to comply. I'm in the middle of travel. I'm trying to have help from your side since the requirements are coming now to be done in three weeks and we still have. What does all of, of Diego's past medical record, 17 years worth, have to do with him getting checked out for the pre-fight? For, uh, excuse me, before the fight. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. This dude makes no sense. He's killing me, you guys. I can't do this. It's like, I can't. It makes me literally want to go up to my third level and jump out. Like, it, it makes me want to jump out the window. <laughs> Two other pieces of travel in our camp. And this is all I'm saying is uh, we could have complied to this very easily 10 weeks ago. That's all I'm saying, sir. And That's fine. Okay. But we're talking issues now okay well That's whatever it. issue not we'll do whatever you need man there is no issues on our side i yeah, asked bro. for the same medical things if he had a bloody nose why wouldn't we want the records of all these things i mean he's about ready to leave why would the you? ufc and and how would we be able to ask for all this stuff later so as asking formally at leaving the ufc you're not leaving planet earth i don't understand why wouldn't you be able to request your medical records later Dude, this guy's talking in riddles. As I don't get to speak to very many people in the UFC, and I thought, hey, I might as well How? say this at this moment. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, it's a it's an interesting deal. Like, cool, man. We'll jump through whatever hoops you need. Diego is 100% fine, as he is here with me right now. Um, he's fine, man. Everything's good. So I mean, you understand. My position right i can't ever be in a situation where 10 years from now i got a guy that's drooling on himself in a hospital and i got another guy saying yeah we told the ufc before his last fight that he was having some, all these issues and they put him in there anyway gotcha right. i understand right. that totally hey let me um yeah i'll leave it at that that's cool so okay. yeah just go ahead and send me an email send me and let me know whatever you need us to do and uh, well, absolutely. Everything's good on our side. I simply have been misunderstood because when he's got hands, he's got little tears and breaks. I need to know to what capacity we need to work on fixing and healing his joint. 
I'm so sick of his, like, victim narrative, you guys. I've been a misunderstood. I'll jump through all your hoops and, and, and all the hoops you want me to. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. I was misquoted. Like, oh, my God, I can't deal with his victim narrative. Oh, oh, no, that's not what I was saying. Like, what? I don't have any friends in the UFC to talk to. It's like, I can't. I can't do it anymore, you guys. I can't do this. <laughs> once his career's over that's what i'm looking at and i need to know when we start to take him to orthopedic and we go into bio accelerator and we've already had stem cell like there's a lot going on boss that's all i just needed to know and he's concerned because you know he it's a yeah, lot a yeah. lot of time he, he he he's having uh you know i'm like and, 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 when and just you know. i know you have around for the the entirety of it but between dana sean me the, the people here that really matter and move things and you know control the fight business aspect of this if diego needs anything all he has to do is pick up the phone and call sean and reach out and the answer is he's we're going to take care of him so Excellent. he's got a hand okay. in something that the last thing that i want him fucking worried about is a year from now he's got something wrong with his hand and you know let me know that's okay. all you got to do okay phone, see and this and this is all i needed was an open line of communication because there really hasn't been much and that's why i'm asking once again, victim, there hasn't been a, an open line of communication because it's not like you're the, you're one of the coaches in the UFC. I'm pretty sure there are other ways you could have handled this. You guys, I just, I don't know anybody in the UFC. Oh my God. Asking about things because I'm just new to the situation and Diego's, uh, you know, telling me he's had boo-boos for the, you know, his whole career. I'm like, well, I'm dealing with your hip now. I'm dealing with your hand right now. Like, okay, what what else we have we accumulated? You know what I mean? And that's all. That type of thing. So anyways, just uh yeah, send me whatever I need to do and we'll get it done as soon as possible. All right, thanks, Josh. Yes, have sir. All right. Bye. Woo, you guys. Thankfully, that was I just like I can't. I'm I kind of I like hate Fabio, but him being so dumb is so entertaining. Like, it's so entertaining because it's just so much good shit to listen to. He like, contradicts himself. He talks in riddles. He doesn't know what he's saying half the time. You know what? I don't even feel bad for Diego. The UFC took such good care of him, and he's dealing, he's siding with this asshole. You know what? Diego, goodbye. It's I, I don't I don't even care about you either. This is just ridiculous. It's it's so ridiculous. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. It's your girl Big Danny. Let me know what you guys think. Seriously, this was <laughs> so cringe, bro. I'll catch you next time. Bye.